All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, Sunny and I are gonna be exploring this abandoned movie theater that's been only shut down for around a year, and it actually still has power on, if you guys can tell, which is awesome. I mean, this has been kind of a trend for us lately, checking out cool spots that still have power on, which is definitely a very unique and eerie feel and a little different than the decay that we usually show you guys. Um, this place is still gonna be super sick. There's a lot of an old school feel to it, just the design and everything feels very not updated and kind of like a childhood nostalgia it takes you back to the day when you would go to the movie theater as a kid. So I know you guys are gonna love that. I'm super hyped to take you guys around. So without further ado, let's go on out and see what we can find. All right guys, this is the first theater we're gonna start off at. As you can see, the light strips on the ground are still on. Exit sign is still powered up, which is just a very eerie vibe for this place. It's even mold completely covering the door, which is crazy because it's only been a year or so I think since this place has been down, so kind of wonder uh, how it's gone this gross so fast, but we're gonna head on in there and check it out. And I just noticed when I'm looking at the ground that this is a very unique uh, style of carpet. It makes you think of like your childhood, you know, maybe having like some birthday party scheduled with your friends in like elementary school at the movie theater. I feel like that was a big thing way back when. Again, you can see that those light strips around here super lit up too, but man, this, this is like a deep unlocking memory here, you know? really takes you back to like those uh, childhood memories. I kind of love it. And there's that exit sign. Still lit up. Just imagine all the people who saw that, you know, walking out of this theater, didn't think anything of it, and now here I am looking at it in this place as, you know, just falling apart at the seams, mold already after just like a year, which again is mind boggling, but water damage can do some crazy stuff to places. And, you know, I'm pretty sure no one expected this place to, to turn out like this. And here is the view of this theater. There's that big screen. The other place that we've been to, we've actually seen that they slashed the screen. This one they didn't, so... I think that might have been because they believed that there was a potential they could have reopened this place. There's the lights again on the ground. Still lit up, like people are ready to get up at the end of the movie and just walk on out of here. Even the chairs too, you can just see are definitely an older vibe. More mold. Definitely more dated feel, just like with the carpet. Just the pattern makes me think so much of like, I don't know, middle school, elementary school, back before all these bigger theaters started getting built and kind of taking over the, the movie theater scene. Look at that mold. And dust too, you're probably gonna, probably gonna see some little dust particles flying around. Um, film in, which is again why it's important to wear masks in here because who knows what kind of stuff I'd be inhaling. Sonny's out here somewhere rocking his um, full on respirator, so he's gonna sound a little like Darth Vader if I hop him in the video. You guys know I always drag him around and make him do stuff for me. Just cool to see this again. It's not a uh, common that you're gonna see a theater with these kind of designs anymore, which uh, kind of makes me sad a little bit. These are like mom and pop type places, and uh, you want to see them. Be supported and you want to support local businesses but it's just really hard when uh, bigger corporations start taking over there's a super up close view of the screen for some of those like crazy seats i never understood anyone who wanted to sit all the way up here please explain because i don't know i mean i'm not really interested in craning my neck up the entire movie and also being like blasted in the face with sound i'm i'm okay it really does feel like you know minus the mold and a little bit of like gunk i mean it doesn't feel that far away from being an active place. It's kind of strange in that way. Here is one of the neighboring theaters in the back. Slightly different layout. There's like this separate section in the back here. I never really got this whole thing with having a, like a little rail separation, which also again, you guys can just see mold city everywhere but more of those classic style seats just back to back to back more lights more seating up here i'm trying to be actually kind of careful guys because there are so many spiders literally everywhere and um before you know it, you just walk into a giant web and you're just uh, wiping your face so you know i'm not a fan of spiders i don't think anyone's really a fan of spiders well some people are and i I'm intimidated by those people. Wow. I don't think I'm gonna get over the, 
the nostalgia waves right now, but it's just super cool being in here. And again, similar type of deal. Got a big screen. Again, nice and intact. There is absolutely no vandalism actually in this place, guys, at least that we've noticed so far, which is pretty awesome. Probably means that not many people know about this place, either that or it's just a place that not many people have cared to come to. Just again, weird to feel like at one point this place was completely full. You know, watching movies that we kind of knew about not too long ago, because like I said, this place did not close that long ago, so it's really not that far back. People were sitting in here just like a year ago complaining about how outdated the design was and this place had leaks. I mean, like I said, it's hard when you're a small business trying to compete with all these fancy seats that are, you know, coming out. Like I literally even saw on TikTok that there's places now with like water features that can like spray you with water, like as part of those like crazy, like almost like 4D type experience movies with a bunch of like sensory features. Like how do you compete with that? It's just so hard. Like, none of these places are really gonna, I feel like, exist for much longer. But then I guess there'll be more places for me to take you on adventures, guys, you know? I'll take you and show you all of them, all the old school places that will reminisce about uh, the basic movie theaters. Oh man, what a mess. It's kind of actually weird when you think about how, like, often this would happen at theaters. Like, you'd go into a scene and be like, yeah, no, that's disgusting, I'm not sitting there. Like, people are kind of low-key animals sometimes. When you go to, like, theaters, people just, like, leave their food everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised if I found like buckets of popcorn in like random crevices while I'm exploring here. And over there you guys can see there's actually this um, bin to recycle your own glasses for the 3D movies that they would have here. It's kind of weird that they would leave that, but um, getting just adds more to the nostalgia of this place. I'm curious if there's actually anything left inside of it. So Sunny ended up poking around the bin. Mm -hmm. Got the glasses. Found a classic OG pair of 3D glasses. Watch out, guys, we actually have Zach Bagans here right now. Are there any speeds here? <laughs> Sonny always gets Zach Bagans, <laughs> Orlando Bloom, Robert Downey Jr. It would be hard to tell with the respirator on, but you excited yeah. to go see a 3D movie? Yeah, hopefully we can see Shrek 3D. That would be really cool. I, <laughs> I remember seeing Shrek 3D with these same glasses on, and it was the first time that I got these, like the new age 3D glasses. The other ones, the old style, was the one that had the one red lens and the blue lens. Remember that? Oh yeah, that those were like, yeah, those that, were OG. That was like Spy Kids 3D. That's when like the images would come at you. Oh and yeah. This, this is like the whole movie was 3D, so it was like a different style. Yeah, I kind of loved it when those were happening though. When it was like all like flying at your face, that was just very interactive, yeah. super cool. So cool nonetheless though. A little memorabilia. Yeah, for sure. As I was saying before, there is a lot of mold in this place that you can actually see right here. A lot of it usually is um, from the carpet because it can hold on to moisture. But uh, that's definitely contributing to this really funky smell in this place. So, um, yeah, very, very gunky in here. Now we are in some of the theaters that have the lights still on. Kind of like the movie just came to an end and uh, everyone's ready to get up out of their seats and head home at the end of a probably a late night because i mean in my opinion late night movies are always the best but just again feels very strange feels like this place could still you know open right now take people right now minus this you know mold damage and you know it's not the same feel as like some of the more heavily decayed places that we've taken you guys to it's just um like I've mentioned in probably some of my other videos, like a new era of abandoned places that have been affected by the pandemic and the economy being, you know, kind of tanking and people not being able to go to the movies for so long. Places especially like this, like I said, those small businesses really got hit hard. And so it's not really a surprise when you wander into a place like this and just feel like it shouldn't have happened, but it was just so, so very sudden. And this back here is just Super gross. All that mold again. I'm just gonna really highlight that because this place is mold city. Let's get the seats even broken in some of these chairs. I mean, honestly, guys, like if this could somehow be salvaged, replaced, probably replaced, honestly, because that stuff is just nasty. Like, other than that, I could really see this place reopening, but um, who knows the the financial impact of something like that or if the business even has something like that to um to throw just to reopen this place and um 
I mean, I really save it again. Sonny was making this point that like AMC, all these crazy big theaters, how, how can you even compete with that at that point? I mean, it's hard when you have like the small local, you know, home theater and no one even really wants to go there anymore because there's always that cooler one that's, you know, having the new fresh features. I think it's a kind of a classic story for anyone and in their hometown, they always have that one spot that uh, no one really cares to go to anymore. And uh, who knows, maybe your small hometown theater looks like this too and you just have no idea. All right guys, this is the final theater I wanted to show you. Also has the lights on, like I said, that uh, final credit roll post movie, you know, the light turning on and everyone getting up on out of here type of scene right now. At least that's what it feels like, cause you know, you look at this place and again, it just looks so intact. I mean, you can barely even notice the mold. It's kind of like a little detail you gotta look for to even make this place even kind of feel abandoned. But this is definitely the big boy theater, the one with, uh, the most seating for all the, you know, bigger features, more popular movies that are coming out and premiering. It's actually, I'm gonna look at the corner here. There's a whole other section of seating that you can see that uh, goes up this way. Personally for me, I would always go right up here, find a seat somewhere nestled in the back. Cause that is my preference. I like sitting in the back. You can actually see that too, there's a little bit of light up there by where the projectors are and that's where we're probably gonna head up in a little bit show you guys what that looks like up there because, you know, i give you guys a sneak peek of what all the employees are doing and hanging out and kind of controlling behind the scenes when you guys are just enjoying and watching your movie. Now we're making our way into the bathroom, which is oddly like the freshest thing of all. Like, it just feels weird being in here. Look at all this. Like, if I showed you this right now, if I like put a bit of Snapchat or something, people would just think I was like going to the movies. They would not think anything of this. So weird. Like, usually it's always like a joke of like, oh, you gotta pee in the bando, but like this is just like, like it looks like perfectly fine. Like if you really had to go pee, you could just go pee. There's toilet paper. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there was running water in this place. It's just weird. Oh man. See, this is what makes me feel like super sketched out is it just feels like so wrong. When you're like in a place that looks like this, it makes your heart pound up a little more. I'm not gonna lie, it makes me feel weird. Just look at that. Don't tell me it doesn't look like we're just in like some random active place. It does not look like we're in a abandoned building right now. You guys, right here outside of the bathroom, there's actually the little things that they had here to hold, uh, I guess, promotional posters either for the movies or probably also for like, you know, brand deals and stuff, like cola, the Dasani water. I feel like they always had that, the popcorn. Now they're all empty. Maybe they have uh, the promo posters somewhere. Maybe they just tossed them, who knows? All right, guys, I just took a minute to kind of come down here and show you guys the main entrance. It's a little sketchy to be down here because there is some really bad visibility with all the glass doors out front. So I'm not planning on hanging around here for long, but I want to show you guys this because it really fits that like old school vibe that you know the carpet gives that the the chairs and the theaters give just everything it's um just feels like it's never been updated that's kind of what a lot of people when i you know read up on like online reviews people were saying it was very outdated it just felt like it didn't compare to more modern theaters so um makes sense why it looks this way also i'm going to mention right now that you have probably heard this beeping going off for the entire video um, there's an alarm that's actually been going off um, non-stop since we've gotten in here. We believe it's just been set off for quite a long time now and no one's been coming and checking up on this place so it's not a concern but it is a little freaky still and we don't want to undermine it so we're still being super careful. I would show you it but it is in a super sus place so I'm probably not going to be able to get an up-close look for you guys so you will just get a nice reminder as you hear it throughout this entire video. All right, guys, we are upstairs. Like I mentioned in that theater, there's the above section with the projectors. And we are here right now, checking them out. Here's one of them. Looks very different from any of the other projectors you guys might have seen in my other videos. And each of those little windows out is um, connecting to one of the theaters, you know, so we project out from there onto the screen. You know, whatever movie was supposed to feature in that specific theater that night or that day or whatever was going on. And there's going to be quite a few of them because there's a lot of theaters in here, so it's kind of like a big row all the way 
down and you know there's some weird glowing lights going on very strange up here back roomsy kind of you know like the vibe of i mean obviously we're not supposed to be in here but this is like even for people back in the day when this was open you weren't supposed to be back here it looks like they also left a box or boxes multiple full of just uh back of like chair pieces replacement cushions for little reserved papers just like little odds and ends i guess they probably just stored everything up here that they didn't know what else to, to do with there's another kind of cool thing there's a bunch of reels which is kind of weird something that everything seemed like it was like computerized and it didn't look like they had a lot of like actual film reels to show movies or at least there's nothing left here I don't know, maybe that's how they used it one day on a time. Maybe if they had like an older model of projectors that they maybe switched out at some point and just left this up here. It's really cool to see that. One of the last little cool finds is, uh, see right there, lenses that may not work. There's a bunch of big, huge lenses. This one's a hefty, hefty boy. I remember I picked it up earlier and I was like, oh my god. I can't even really see through it. It's kind of a shame they're probably all busted, but heavy-duty stuff. All right, Sunny, what do you think of this place? I think it was I pretty solid this, explorer. I think it was solid. It was actually awesome. I love the old school, like, 90s theaters. So, right up my alley. I love this new H Bando. It's so awesome with power. You can't beat it. Yeah, exactly. We definitely did get sketch. We didn't show you guys this, but we did see <laughs> someone outside. Um, we were worried that they were going to come in, and then we'd have to, like, worry about yeah, them and what they were going to do. But luckily it was fine, but, you know. Sometimes we don't want to show you guys our like yeah. inner stress. Like, yeah, while in we're the here. moment, it's like we're just trying to figure that out, and it's hard to film everything and worry about that because this dude was just like sitting with his back toward us. It was almost like a video game. I had to run by him and make sure I was being stealthy, but it worked yeah. out. Yeah, just the little you know actual factors of like what happens yeah. when you go exploring and things you have to think about. But Always remain calm. Yes, remain calm That's and the carry best on. Thing. Yep. <laughs> but either sure. way, guys, we had a really solid time. Mm -hmm. Lots of cool finds. Always appreciate a good movie theater. And um, I think with that, we're going to head right on out of here. Peace. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed walking through this abandoned movie theater with Sunny and I. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And of course, like always, I'll catch you in the next one.